What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Training with Bill. So last week I tried the boiled egg diet challenge. There's been a lot of hype online about the claims that you can lose 22 pounds or 10 kilos off your weight in just two weeks time with no exercise whatsoever. So I thought I'd try this diet out myself and see if it actually works. I started at 96 kilos, which was 211 pounds. By the end of the seven days, I was at 91 kilos, which was 200 pounds. A total of five kilos or 11 pounds I lost in seven days alone. The diet itself was very, very simple. It consisted of three meals a day. Um, in between was no junk, no sugar, no, basically nothing at all apart from water and those three meals. I followed those three meals to the T. I got my diet plan off Bright, uh, Brightside, which was the YouTube channel that had the most views at the time. The reason why I did it off uh, Brightside is that most people would be getting their information from that video itself. So I thought I'd follow that diet plan to the T to test if it actually works. So the breakfast every day was exactly the same. Two boiled eggs and a piece of citrus fruit. Two boiled eggs and a piece of citrus fruit. Every single day. I've got no idea why. These two pieces of food do not go together whatsoever. I learned that the hard way. The only thing that varied throughout the diet plan over the seven days was my lunch and my dinner. So these revolved around having sweet potato, fruit, uh, salad, grilled chicken, grilled fish, and steamed vegetables. That's it. So the pros are as follows. Number one is the first and foremost, they actually followed through with the claim that you're able to lose 22 pounds or 10 kilos in two weeks time simply with diet alone. So as I showed you guys, in seven days time, I was able to lose five kilos, which was 11 pounds, exactly on the halfway mark, which I was very, very happy with. So the second advantage to this diet was that I was able to flatten my stomach, reduce some of the bloating, and also get rid of some, some of that excess fat. Now that's the reason why I started this challenge in the first place. I could feel my body getting sluggish and getting that extra bit of fat on there as I'm not able to train, not able to do anything. Um, so I really wanted to try and reduce that. And this diet has actually helped me in reducing that. Obviously I've still got a lot more to go and that's part of the reason why I started this challenge to begin with. So another benefit is that this diet actually allows you to lose a decent amount of weight in a short period of time. So whether you've got an occasion coming up or you need to fall into a certain weight bracket for whatever reason, this diet does allow you to reduce that weight fairly quickly. Now in terms of the preparing for the food, it was so simple and easy. It doesn't take much ingredients, obviously. Everything was very simple and bland, um, but that is actually a pro. So I was very easily able to um, prepare my food um, without having any kind of interruption to my day. And the last benefit to this diet was that the food was actually very, very delicious. Um, I don't, really don't like vegetables and especially broccoli, but I found I was eating every little last piece of broccoli on my plate and I was actually loving it. No extra salt or pepper or anything like that, just plain vegetables and I actually enjoyed it, which leads me into my cons for this diet. So the first problem that I found with this diet is I believe the reason why I found these meals so delicious is because I was actually starving. Having three meals a day is not easy to do, especially when they're very, very simple and small meals, particularly when it came to some of the meals that involved having just two apples for lunch. Two apples is ridiculous. That's not a lunch. And sometimes they even had two sweet potatoes and a tomato. I mean, who has a tomato for lunch? That is ridiculous. Just a whole tomato and two sweet potatoes, that's beyond me. That's probably one of the first problems that I found with this diet. The second problem was that breakfast was always the same. Two boiled eggs and a piece of citrus fruit. Two boiled eggs and a piece of citrus fruit. I don't know if the person that created this plan actually tried it out for themselves, but citrus fruit and eggs do not go together. And I learned that the hard way Check this out. Now this is the strangest mix I've ever seen in my life. I've personally never tried citrus fruit with eggs, but there's a first time for everything. This is a very, very small meal. Eggs are nice. I'm gonna try them both at the same time. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Oh, definitely not. Don't have the eggs and the citrus at the same time. 
So by the second day, I was actually starting to get irritated and very angry, and that's simply because I had nothing to look forward to. My meals were very simple, very bland, very plain. Um, there was no cheap meals, there was no in-between snacks, there was nothing to look forward to. So that means your outings are ruined, your weekends are ruined, there's no movie night, there's no nothing like that, because without a bag of popcorn or going out and having something to eat outside, it's very, very difficult and it gives you nothing to look forward to. The next problem I found was that I was going to the toilet a lot more than usual. So at least twice a day going to the toilet and that's simply because I was consuming so much fruit and veggies and salads which is a good thing but at the same time I think about half my meals throughout the day consisted of salad. I mean I've never had so much salad in my life. Um, I had a huge bowl of salad and I'd eat every little leaf or tomato or anything that was in there um, just because I really was craving that food. Um, so that's one of the problems, going to the toilet too many times throughout the day. The next problem I found was the uncontrollable cravings. Those cravings come from depriving yourself of all the foods that you're used to, seeing everybody else eat what they want, when they want, and you have to deprive yourself and stick to a very, very strict diet was extremely difficult, and that leads into the next problem, which is indulging in food once the diet is over. So the most common problem with these rapid weight loss diets is that you end up regaining the weight once the diet's over. And that's because you've restricted yourself so much, you've built up all those urges and cravings of whatever it is that you've been craving throughout the, that period, um, that once the diet's over, you end up indulging in that food and regaining the weight. So that was one of my major concerns when I first started this diet, knowing that a lot of people claim once you jump on these diets and you lose that weight, as soon as you hop off and return back to your eating habits, you regain that weight. Some people even claim that you gain more weight than you initially started with. Now that was a major concern and that's the reason why I've left this update for a week after I've completed the um, diet plan and that's to check my weight now. So we'll quickly go and jump on the scales, check my weight and see how much weight I've regained. So my starting weight before the diet was 96 kilos. After the diet had complete, one week later I was sitting at 91 kilos and now I'm currently at 93.5 kilos about six days after the diet which means I've gained two and a half kilos in six days after the diet was complete. So there you have it guys, after the diet, I returned to my regular eating habits for about five to six days now, and I've gained two and a half kilos back of weight. So that's not too bad, I'm not too disappointed with that, I was expecting to gain the weight back. So in a nutshell guys, the Boiled Egg Diet Challenge offers rapid weight loss, very very simple plan, and easy prep work. On the other hand, it's not something that's sustainable, and that's the biggest problem for me. Um, it wasn't enjoyable, it wasn't sustainable, it's not something I can do for a long period of time. Um, seven days was even extreme in my case, I wouldn't be doing it again. Um, I'm looking for something that's going to be sustainable, enjoyable, part of a lifestyle for me and build some good healthy habits. Um, this one is not what I'm after, but as you guys can tell, my arm is in a sling. So that means I'm restricted in terms of the movement that I can do for over the next couple of weeks. And that means I'll be doing more diet challenges to come. So if you've got any suggestions, put them in the comment section below. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Training with Bill.